Hello everyone, here we are. It is the official midnight release now of the Xbox One. Um, there was only two extra systems available, just like with the PS4 uh, launch last week. The, this store only had two extras. I obviously have my pre-ordered and I have my Xbox One t-shirt on, so woohoo! So you might remember Danny if you watched the PS4 video. Uh, Mario, Mario also comes out at midnight tonight, so that's why we have cat ears on. Um, but yeah, that video PS4 is up to like 18,500. We're famous. So yeah, you're, you're world famous now. We look really creepy. <laughs> it's the ears. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I had a customer that could not look at me and talk to me because of the ears being on. Also, the bald head with the pink ears is a little weird. <laughs> oh, no. I figured since there's quite a few people watching this video that maybe have never seen anything on my channel before, that I would describe a little bit about myself. Uh, hi, I'm Scott. I do a show uh, called Video Game Sellers that I do with a few other people out at a local flea market. We sell and trade games. Um, I am also a very big game collector. I have like over 2,000 games in my collection. I've been doing it for 25 years. Um, I want to mention that because I know that selling games can sort of be a little bit of an issue with, uh, within our community, but we give good deals. Um, we do a lot of trades in between each other for like our personal collections, um, and that's definitely uh, helped get this channel where it is today. We just passed 10,000 subscribers. Um, so again, maybe go check out uh, the newest episode of Video Game Sellers, episode 54, uh, and subscribe if you don't mind, and maybe give this video a thumbs up. That would be cool. I'll put a link in the description down below to the uh, newest episode of Video Game Sellers for you guys to check out. Besides the uh, Xbox One t-shirts, they sent us some other promo stuff, like a little uh, lanyard with a Dead Rising 3 pin on it, and well, I guess two pins on it. Uh, one's like a, the chainsaw on the pole. And then we got a Rise one, shield, and a little uh, Xbox One controller keychain. Pretty cool. I actually wasn't going to originally get an Xbox One when they first announced it, um, with the stipulations like the no used games and the having to check in online at least once every 24 hours. But when they changed their minds on those policies, then I changed my mind about getting one. I want to know uh, from you guys though in the comments section down below, if they hadn't have changed their mind and they still had all those stipulations, would you have still got one? Um, like I said, for me, I wasn't going to get one. It would have been the first system in like two decades that I would not have purchased. Um, but now, you know, I'm totally fine with the way the system is. But uh, yeah, so let me know down below. Another system is actually coming out tonight as well at midnight. Uh, and it is the limited edition Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds 3DS. See the uh, sign behind me. Um, that's pretty damn cool. I would buy it if I purchased limited edition systems. Maybe I'll find one at a garage sale or something in the future. So yeah, a special guest has come down for this uh, midnight. It's Aaron! Yeah, I told him he should come down just to hang out. He's not getting an Xbox One. And little Josh over there, shy little fucker. Say hi to like 15,000 people or not. No. Anyways. Um, your main reason why he came down, I told him he should come out, and uh, he's almost to a thousand subscribers on his channel. Yeah, like 960, I think it's up to now. Yeah, so we just passed 10,000 on my channel. Um, that was awesome, so now we need to get him up a little bit farther. So I'll, I'll also leave uh, in the description down below a link to his channel. You can check that out and go subscribe. Get him over a thousand, and he'll give you a hand job. He promises. Yeah. <laughs> Got all my stuff, uh, so now it's time to head home and show it to Katie. Katie, Katie. Got the Xbox One. Mm. <laughs> you ready to play? Did it wake you? Yeah. Sorry. All right, let's take a look at what I got. I originally thought I was just getting my Xbox One and my copy of Dead Rising 3, but then I realized that there were quite a few games that were coming out on the 22nd that I could just pick up at the midnight, so I went ahead and did, uh, and I got quite a few things. Now, first though, the Xbox One itself, you got the uh, beautiful old VCR design, I guess <laughs> you would call it. Uh, it's not quite as uh, interestingly designed as the PS4 is with its like weird slant to it, but it still looks good. I'm happy with it. Got like the contrast between the matte finish and the shiny finish. And then of course the amazing uh, Kinect, which let's see if this gets used more than the uh, Kinect for the 360 did, at least in my house. Uh, now, my copy of Dead Rising 3, the Day 1 edition, with the shiny cover to it. All the Day 1 edition games have, like, shiny covers. And uh, then, for the games that I had forgotten about, 
we have Super Mario 3D World, a copy of Zelda Link Between Worlds, which this is getting really good reviews. Uh, some reviews I saw were like perfect scores and said this is like the Zelda game that fans have been waiting for, so I'm really looking forward to that. And then uh, Tearaway, which this is going to probably be like a little hidden gem for the Vita. Uh, it's uh, made by the people that did the Little Big Planet series, Media Mo Molecule. And um, you can actually like push your fingers through the back of the system on the touchpad, and they actually show up in the game. Um, all the game is made up of like a paper, a craft paper look to it. So interesting little adventure title. And then let's see, I got the collector's strategy guide for a Link Between Worlds, and what else? And then uh, just some promo stuff. I had showed a few of these things already, the uh, Dead Rising and the Rise um, button packs, and then that little controller for the Xbox One. And then these are cool. These are little keychains for Tearaway, um, which I was the only person that pre-ordered that at my store. We got two copies in total, so I was surprised that they had promo items for it, but there was two different ones. And this one right there, you can see. So that was kind of cool. I like little weird promo items. Um, and that's it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Um, if you w haven't seen my PS4 Midnight video, go check that out also if you want. But uh, again, I know I mentioned a lot of stuff in this video for you to check out, but hopefully you enjoyed it and you'll be interested in seeing some of the other stuff I do on my channel. And you can uh, check out all those like links and things in the description down below. Thumbs up. I will talk to you all later. Peace.